afternoon. I'm going to try and sound as chipper as possible on this, but I'm knackered. Been away all weekend in Belfast. Been getting up early every single morning, doing loads of stuff. Been doing loads of stuff over the weekend, and then I did a I did a workout with, in the park with one of the guys, Johnny and Russ actually, but Russ um, Russ was tired as well. Got th got through it, and it, it it was very tiring. It's the most I've ever done in this thing. Um, and that's kind of what this is about. Afternoon, Paul. How's it going? Good work this morning, my lad. Got oh, Rick Brown's on as well. I'm meeting you in June. Can't wait for that. That'll be fantastic. Um, yeah. This is this is um, yeah. This is from um, this is from this morning. I was doing this. Um, I've been doing this program. Which um, which which is is helping me out with my fan dance thing. It's getting my conditioning up, making me fitter. Okay, I mean, I still need to do all the walking and the loaded carrying and all that sort of stuff, which is great. Um, I need to do that because that's what it's going to be. So I need to do it, but I also need my conditioning to be strong as well. So I'm working on that. Um, and I've been working on that with the guys as well. Rob Wilson's on. Hello. Yeah, I've been working on that with the guys as well because we're all getting stronger. Um, and then you get to a certain point where it's hard to take that a bit, take that further if you've got sort of, um, if you're still not battling with mobility issues, but still got sort of like slight things that need changing. So now we're working on conditioning and. Um, and working on those mobility issues with with the fellas we've already worked on loads of them with them but we're we're just fine-tuning now with the guys who've been coming for ages so i was doing this thing this morning it's the most i've ever done um it was yeah uh, you, you can't really call it a pb but for conditioning it was kind of like it was the longest i've ever gone for in this this programming thing that i've done which is called viking warrior conditioning which is uh it's pretty brutal but it felt great, but I'm knackered now after it, after the weekend I've just had as well. So it was probably, probably overdid it a bit, but that's cool. I'll be fine by tomorrow. I'm going to get a good, good night's rest and stuff. But it just got me to thinking about like, kind of what, what you're capable of. Because, you know, it might be like, oh, well, it's all well and good. Peter's a, you know, I mean, I'm in this industry. I'm in the fitness industry and all that, but I'm kind of got in it accidentally. Right, I haven't been fit my whole life. In fact, I've been unfit most of my life. Probably for about 35 years, I was unfit. And then fitness actually came into it in the last five years. So, what's that? 12.5% of my life <laughs> I've been fit for. That's not very much, is it? And that's the thing. This is why when I train the guys in the park, it's kind of... I get where they're at. I get where they're at when they turn up. They, they they come along. The guys online as well, you know, who who find it great that they've got a Facebook community that they can come into and ask questions. They've got direct access to me and the other fellas as well. So they can ask me questions. And what happens is they ask me a question and the other guys come in as well saying, oh, I had that problem at the start or, you know, I had that concern or whatever. But it's all right, it'll be fine. So they've got the support from the other fellas because we're all just a bunch of normal guys, right? You know, it's not like, it's not like I've put this group together and I've been, you know, doing this since I was like 10 years old. You know, I haven't. I've been doing it for the last, probably for the last five years. Before that, I was, you know, I was trying to get fitter, trying to get stronger and all that. I didn't have a bloody clue what I was doing. So, you know, I spent, I spent, I think I spent 10 years, 10 years, um, doing, just doing random stuff and never getting anywhere. Never, you know, I never had the body I wanted. I, always, I was always a little bit chubby. You know, I was never like really a big fat bloke. That, that I never was, but you don't need to be to be unhappy, right? You just, you know, some people, it ta I, I wrote an email about this on, on the other day, I think. Some people it takes... You know, they have to get, go to an extreme for it to actually be a problem. Whereas other people like me, you know, I got a little bit chubby here and there. I've, you know, had to let my belt out a little bit. I had to buy some new jeans. Um, 
that's all it took. That made me feel bad. And then it, it, it made me feel bad for a good few years, but yeah, 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 like you, exactly. Made me feel bad for a good few years. But um, not bad enough to do something about it until it did, until I realised, I was like, hang on, I'm feeling over the hill at 35. I thought I was, I was old at 35. That's ridiculous, you're not. So anyway, it's kind of like, this is all about, mainly about Johnny. Who was who was down in the park with me? Chub rub, chub rub. Yeah, <laughs> that's a funny one. That poor my brother actually. He's not. Uh, is he on Facebook? I don't know. He's not. I'm not friends with him on Facebook. Anyway, not. I think he just hates Facebook. Um, and he uses this stuff. He goes cycling a lot. He cycles like hundreds of miles. Um, and he uses this stuff called um, Udderly Smooth. <laughs> And apparently, it's, 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 yeah, utterly smooth it's called. Any, any cyclists out there will know what I'm talking about. And apparently it's good stuff. Um, but I looked it up because I, I, I thought it was hilarious. I looked it up and it's, um, it's used on cows, on cows. Others. Apparently it's a problem when you're milking a cow, they get, they get chaffage. I shouldn't be really be doing that, should I? But they, they get chaffage <laughs> from doing all this caper. So you put this stuff on it and it's, it's, it's better for them. Yeah, and then they the found out that it's, uh, uh, it works for cyclists as well. So there you go. Utterly smooth. Get involved. I might need some of that for the fan dance. Anyway, this was about Johnny. Um, now to do with Utterly Smooth <laughs> with Johnny. But we did this workout this morning, so we did 25 minutes of this workout of 15 seconds work, 15 seconds rest with a weight. And when we're finished, Johnny just smashed it out. Like, it's the most I've ever done. I did it with a 20 kilo, because I've been doing it a while. He did it with a 16. And there's guys who I know who've been doing this a very long time, who would, who would get that done, but be knackered at the end and struggle. And Johnny just did it. And this is Johnny who used to have a sore back. This is Johnny who used to have a tight neck and, and sore shoulders. And, and he had to, you know, he was going to a gym and then he had to stop after a while, because he had to stop for a few months. A few months. Because, um... Because he was injured and he couldn't, he couldn't, you know, he was walking with a limp and all this sort of stuff. It's, it's, I've spoken about him before. He's really tall, really lean, so he was getting a sore lower back. So then he was doing stuff that didn't, that would protect his lower back, or thinking he was protecting his lower back by not working it ever, which made it weaker, which made the problem worse, right? So we started him from scratch. He started out swinging a 16 kilo bell um, a year and a half ago. Um, he, yeah, he started out swinging a 16 kilo bell, getting all of those little niggles out, out of the way, and then he got stronger. And then today, he used the same 16 kilo bell that he started out swinging. He did 350 snatches with it in 25 minutes, which is a lot, by the way. If you don't know what that is, it's a lot. And I said to him at the end of that, I said, You could pretty much go to any gym in Bath. Um, this isn't a challenge or anything, by the way, but. So you go to any gym in Bath and say, you know, just pick a random and, you know, one of the, like, one of the fitness people there and say, like, oh, do you want to do this workout with us, you know, and start banging out. And, and most people wouldn't be able to do it. Not because of fitness or anything, it would all be about technique because it's all about being efficient with the technique and getting, getting through it. And the rest and recovery that would do as well is a thing that I said to him, at the, you know, he, he said by the last five minutes, he wasn't breathing as heavily as he was throughout the first 20 minutes. Because we learn all that as well. It's all about breathing. So there's a thing we've been doing, which is a, called a swing breath ladder, where you do swings and then a number of breaths, and then more swings and more breaths and more swings and more breaths. And it teaches you recovery in between when you're doing stuff. So when you do get tired, you can keep going or you can rest and be ready to go quicker. So, so that's what I said to him. At the end of it, he put it down. He said for the last five minutes, he, wasn't as, he didn't feel as tired out as he did for, for in the first 20 and I said, well, that'll be because of those swing breath ladders we've been doing. He said, yeah, he said, by the end of it, he was applying it, doing the deep breaths and all that. So it, it was 15 seconds of like solid work and then 15 seconds rest for 25 minutes. So that's a lot. That's a lot. Um, and without that training on how to, how to use the rest periods, even though it is 15 seconds, without that, he wouldn't have got through it. Without the technique, he wouldn't have got through it. So like I said, you can go to most gyms. Just, just pick a random person and say, fancy doing this, like someone who's really fit, and they'll, they'll, probably not, they'll probably not be able to do it. And that doesn't mean anything, because then, they, you know, you get people who can go, then go and run a marathon. I wouldn't be able to do that. 
um, certainly not in any decent time, you know. So it, it, it's like, does it matter? That's when it's like, does it matter? But for the guys who are coming down the park, it does because um, that's what they're after. They're just after decent conditioning, decent strength, nothing out of the ordinary, um, just everyday condition, strength and conditioning to, to be able to do everyday tasks with ease, with ease, you know. Um, and that's all we're trying to do. So, that's, that's one example, that's using one person as an example, we've got, we've got I've, I've, I've told you about many other people, so we've got loads of examples of, how, of results and all that and how, how all this works, so there's loads of examples, like Christina, Christina is on, I haven't seen you for ages, I hope it's going really well, Christina's another great example, she did really well back in the day, a few years ago, um, yeah, one of my first clients and she did outstandingly well, and hopefully still is. Um, yeah, but like I said, there's many, many examples of, of, of the results people have got. So Johnny is the example of day of that workout, which people who I know in the industry who do this stuff day in, day out, find tough. And Johnny just did it. And he looked fresh as a daisy at the end of it as well. Um, bear in mind, well, fresh as a daisy, that's probably a little bit past its best. <laughs> Only joking, Johnny. You, you did well. So, you know, and then it's like, it's kind of, so this is kind of the thing. It's like, I started out going back to Bristol from Hungary. Good night. Nice one. Um, you, shouldn't, you shouldn't be able to watch this on a plane, should you? Can you do that now? I don't know. Anyway, anyway, hope you have a safe journey. Um, yeah, so it was just kind of like having a think about what you're capable of. Because... Johnny probably thought he wasn't capable of... If I'd have showed him that on the first day and said, right, here's what you're going to be doing in 18 months' time or, le or less, you know, he'd be like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. You know, and he, but he did it. And it's all about just following the process. I'm, I'm, I'm another good example of that. I'm going to use myself as an example because I was a fat, sweaty mess. I've just written an email about it, actually. I was a fat, sweaty mess who worked 10 hours a day and couldn't move. I couldn't touch my toes. I was tight. I couldn't, I couldn't move properly. Um... And then I decided to do something about it, which is all, all the guys who come down the park, all the guys on my online program, all the guys in the inner circle, that's what they've done. They've all just stepped up and done something about it and then realised what they are capable of. There's a guy who's just finished. Starlo! Starlo's on as well. Good man. Our man in Hong Kong. How's it going? Still doing the kettlebells at home as well, Chris. That's what I like to hear. Nice one. Have you got that 12 going? Getting it pressed, getting it pressed, that's what we're after. Anyway, that's what got me to think about what we're capable of. So yeah, so Chris struggled with um, pressing a 12 kilo for ages, but we eventually got her to do it, and then after that it was, you know, it was fine. Um, well, yeah, loads of examples of that. So, what you need to do is find out what you're capable of. Okay, because if I'd, if, I, if I'd have been told when I first started doing this that I'd be doing what I'm doing now, I would have told you that you're, you're mental. Because there's no way I'd be able to press half my body weight above my head. There's no way I'd be do, doing that many snatches. Johnny would have been the same. One of five ladders with a 12. That is fantastic. That is fantastic. That makes me really happy, especially considering it's like, what, been two years since we're... We we'll stop working together. That's fantastic. That's amazing. I'm well happy with that. I'm going to tell Regina that. She'll be well annoyed. <laughs> She'll be, uh, right, yeah. I'll get her working on that. She's doing well, actually. So, anyway, yeah. See, so Chris, Chris is a great example. Like I say, she, she, I met her about two and a half years ago, something like that. Um, this is when I was working in a gym and she just wanted to lose some weight. And she did. She lost, she lost the weight she wanted. She, could, she was really happy with her results. Um, and she gained a load of strength, and she's carried on since we stopped working together, um, which was pretty, yeah about two years ago. And she's you know she's doing really well. That's what we're, that's what we want. That's what I'm. That's all I'm trying to do. I was talking to a guy today about how if you're trying to help people, the, be the, 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 the best result you can get is putting yourself out of a job, which is true because then you've helped them, you've empowered someone rather than telling someone what to do, you've empowered them to go off and do it for themselves. And that's, there's loads of the guys who come down the park who do that. They're not coming back to get, um, they're not coming back to get, 
Steph, Steph's on as well. Hey, you're not out running. I've seen you've been running all over the shop. You must be bloody knackered. Um, yeah, it's empowering people to to so they can do it for themselves. The guys who come down the park can could all do it for themselves. Um, it's whether they've got the the I'm not going to say motivation, but whether they, they would actually do it themselves at home um, without the group without the support from the group, whether they'd actually do it or just let it fizzle out. But they've all got the capability, or all the guys who've been coming for, for a year or so, or more, they've all got the capability to be able to, to do this for themselves. But the thing is, they keep coming back because it's a group of people who are all, all getting on at, this, at a similar sort of pace. Love it, Steph. Thanks for that. That means loads. That means loads. Thank you. You seem to be doing pretty damn well yourself, actually. So, uh, yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, anyway, this is... I've, I've gone on a bit now because... Of... Ah, right, hang on. Ah, oh, you've got to go. Okay. Have a safe journey, Chris. Ah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Steph. You, yeah, you get loads of, loads of that done. What is it? Dennis and Ted. Hey, fantastic. Anyway, I'll shut up now. Because I've prattled on now, because there was loads of people on, all commenting and stuff like that, so it's great. Make it interactive, get a good chat going. That's what we like to hear. Chris is doing really well after we haven't worked together for two years. Love it. Um, Starlow's been on from Hong Kong. We absolutely love that. Fantastic. I need to talk to you at some point, my lad. Just have a Skype or something, because I haven't spoken to you for bloody ages. Mr. Rugby Tots was on. Our best, the best results guy we've had so far. So, you know, this is all about what you're capable of. And if, if you're not sure, you've just got to get started with something and then you'll find out. Follow the process and then you'll find out. I've actually woken myself up now. I was knackered at the start of this. I didn't think I was capable of getting through it. But anyway, there we go. So, what are you capable of? Have a think about it, and if you don't think it's anything, have another think about it, and then get started on something. Till tomorrow, hard work gets results, absolutely, Cons consistency and commitment, that's what it's all about. Little and often over the long haul, all that sort of stuff, all those stuff that's been said many a time before, and I, I made them all up. <laughs> Anyhow! I've got to eat now, I'm starving after doing all them snatches. So, speak tomorrow.